let's start talking about CEI now, all right? So I'm actually very excited what CEI's got going on. And leading up to the ER, I was telling people, look, the market always understands what's going on. If the price isn't moving lower, moving into e, uh, the ER, if it's not going up, the information has already been absorbed. They already understand it. All right. And so the people who were on the extremes of doom and gloom, the ER is going to show that we're going to go uh, under 20 to the listing or we're going to shoot up to the moon. They were not understanding the build up to it. The filings have all said it. Kirkland and uh, they haven't uh, diluted in a good while. I don't even think they're able to convert at this point due to the uh, the lawsuit that was settled. They might actually have to keep their shares and they might have to refrain from converting any shares. And what people don't realize is us, uh, Camber Energy, getting that, that equity uh, adjustment and having net equity of $29 million now stops the counter, uh, the true up uh, derivative calculator counter for Antilles. So, so they can't get any more true up shares. So when you're looking at the information I have right now, they have 60 million shares. Uh, they're, they're due. There's 30 preferred shares, which is about 10 million, and they have about 50 million in the true up shares. So that's all they have right now. Now, so when you're looking at the net share, shareholder equity of 29 million satisfies uh, the New York Stock Exchange American Exchange. It's got the into Antilles equity requirements as well. It stops the derivatives. And so when you're looking at the net equity of 29 million, you divide that by 107 million. Our fair value equity is about 27 cents. So we're right on our base bottom, which means we are essentially at the bottom for CEI. Just based on book value. That's what we have. And when you look here, we also have a negative 3.2 million in total operations. So we're almost running a profitable operation. Now, that does not mean we still don't carry debt, which we do, and we do scare, carry a, quite a bit of debt. But the fact that we're only three million away from running a profitable operation I means we'll be able to start paying off that debt exponentially easier than what we were able to a year ago, two years ago. All right, especially with the derivative shares all sewed up. So we're in a really good position right now. And this is when it comes to financial uh, money making marketing magic. So how did we get the net equity? Because technically, we still aren't even at the net equity, but this is what they did. CEI, Camber Energy, they took goodwill. And if I see it here, yeah, wow. We have $52 million, almost $53 million worth of goodwill. And that's mostly coming from Simpson Maxwell. That's coming from the mean stock free, uh, uh, craze from building up that goodwill, having great shareholders and stuff like that. So nearly half of our equitable, equitable value from CEI is goodwill. It is intangible. You know, and, you know, to some people, it's like, oh, is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Look, we have, we're, we're still an asset heavy based company, especially what we're able to do. We'll be able to sell things. But you look at Coca-Cola, 33 percent of their equity value is intangible and goodwill. So what CI did to get on the net equity side of things is not unheard of. And so when they did that, it actually cost a goodwill impairment on the other side. Um, so that's why our uh, our liability, not our liabilities, our um, operation expenses are still higher. We'd already be in a profitable uh, operation, but it took that goodwill impairment. When we switched that over, it took that lower. Um, but we got that uh, situated out um, because it shored up the true up shells, shares moving forward. The dilution has been capped, which is very important. So I'm excited with this Q, uh, this this 10Q from uh, from CEI. Um, there's still a lot more work to be done. There's still no more no sales in the, the electric grid space and whatnot, but we're at the bottom. I, I firmly believe it. We're at the bottom. If there's no more dilution going forward, 
you know, we really can't go that much lower. And I think the reverse split is definitely off the table at this point. So that's why I'm get you know, maybe 500 more shares. And I'm going to just sit back. I've done it. I have nearly $50,000 in this company. I'm kind of tired of investing in it. I'm just ready to move on and just let it do its thing.